Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Quick one today, got a box in the mail. It happens from time to time that I get boxes in the mail. I do trade, buy, sell brackets and not so much selling anymore because I've, I've kept hoarding and now I need to start selling maybe a little bit. But it's, uh, yeah, usually boxes coming here, uh, whatever it can be. And today I got a pretty square box. You know, tennis racket boxes are usually quite flat and rectangular. You know what it is when you see it. And sometimes it says tennis warehouse on it as well. So you, you would know. Uh, but in the box, uh, which didn't look at all like a tennis racket, was a tennis racket. And the cover, uh, just such a beautiful piece of, of uh, of the design like many things La Costa, as you know a very classy brand has um, you know a good heritage in tennis uh, with René Lacoste uh, doing a lot of inventions and has like a really strong strong uh, history in in the sport so a uh, beautiful cover but the cover is not the main thing here the main thing is the racket uh, which is uh, the LT12 Lacoste and I'm not sure whether this is a re-release or they sent me one they had, um, which I'm then super grateful for. Uh, it is number 505. And this run was done in 2015. It was a run of 650 handmade rackets that consist of 70% uh, wood and 30% graphite. So you have like the the you know base wood graphite balsa wood and walnut in different layers and uh, such a you know beautiful construction as you know i love wooden rackets i'm a junkie for retro stuff and i tend to like kind of white predominantly white rackets as well that's why i've been enjoying the design uh, from technifiber and i just think it looks pretty cool and elegant and stands out so uh, this is a woody but with 30 percent graphite and you know, I don't want to string it up and try it, but I feel like it's my obligation towards you guys and kind of myself because I'm a, a, a nerd. So obviously want to string it up, but it feels like you need to string this up with some multifilament natural gut. Like you can't string this with a poly, it will look weird. Uh, so we'll see. Whatever you think I should string it up with, uh, let me know in the comments. It's a hundred square inch racket. So it's definitely, you know, playable. Has obviously a little bit more boxy beam than the aerodynamic hundred square inch rackets of today. Uh, 300 grams, so uh, not uh, not too light, and 32.7 uh, centimeter balance, uh, which means it is pretty beefy. The swing weight should be relatively solid on this one, and I'm gonna get to that in the review uh, when I get to it. But yeah, what a piece of art! Uh, I'm really captivated by a racket's design, but I remember being a bit and going a bit nuts when I saw that this one was out. I didn't buy it at that time. I'm not sure if I could afford or whether it was some other reason, but but now it is here and it's a beautiful piece of, uh, of equipment. I mean, it's a kind of a throwback to old Lacoste frames from the 80s. They had some really famous ones and I really never tried those famous Lacoste frames. I would like to. I did review their, their most recent Lacoste uh, LT 2.0 which is over there. Um, and that was really nice. Issue was the weight. I needed to really weigh, weigh it up quite a bit. Uh, if that was done in like 300, 305 grams, it would be a very good racket because they had this uh, Lacoste uh, patented dampening tech in the handle. And you can see my review about that frame. And I really liked it, but yeah, too light. So this one, a little bit beefier and wood. Uh, so uh, I'm probably gonna enjoy this one a lot, I feel. Uh, very keen to see what the stiffness rating is. As you know, wood is very flexible and uh, many wooden rackets go below like the 50s in stiffness, while most modern rackets are like 70 uh, on a scale 200. Very keen to see this uh, on the court. Uh, that's it, short update. Uh, let me know what you think of this frame. Uh, I'm already kind of in love with it and I'm gonna give it a try. That's all, have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.